All right, we're here with Peter Diamandis, the uh, founder and uh, chairman of the uh, X Prize, and uh, thank you for being my first Google Glass interview. Actually, my pleasure, <laughs> honored to be back. So we're here at the Visioneering uh, Conference, which is at the amazing Pelican Hill Resort. And can you tell me a little bit about the history of X Prize and, and what we're doing here at Visioneering? Yeah, sure. So X Prize came out of a personal passion that I wanted to go into space, and I did the calculations and statistically my chances of becoming a NASA astronaut were like one in a thousand. Mm -hmm. And so I have started a dozen companies in the space arena. One of my companies does zero gravity parabolic flights. We've taken 15,000 people into zero G. Another company uh, I co-founded takes people to the space station. We've taken eight clients to the space station. Um, and uh, uh, the um, another company is Planetary Resources that does asteroid mining. Uh, so really proud of that, but how would I have a chance to go to space myself? And I read about Lindbergh cross the Atlantic in 1927 to win a $25,000 prize. And aha, I'm going to create a prize for the first private team to build a spaceship that could take you and me and someone else up into space. And that's the Ansari X Prize? That was the Ansari X Prize. The Ansari family funded it to the tune of $10 million. We had 26 teams around the world who spent $100 million mm -hmm. to compete for that. The winning team was Spaceship One, backed by Paul Allen, who's been here at Visioneering today. Um, and uh, it resulted in a vehicle that was the first private vehicle to go to space twice in two weeks. Richard Branson commercialized that to create uh, Spaceship Two. But the idea that prizes could be a way of making the impossible possible was really the product coming out of that first Ansari X Prize. And so I was able to then take this prize model and find people in the world who are interested in the world's biggest problems. Uh, I was able to attract Larry Page onto my board of trustees, the, the CEO of Google, uh, Craig Venter, uh, James Cameron, the producer, Wendy Schmidt, uh, Jim Giannopoulos, the chairman CEO of Fox, Elon Musk, and others. And we now look at the question of where are there market failures in the world? Where can we create a prize that if it were won, was going to change the field of learning, of health? of food, of water, whatever it might be. And I think it's important to note that the IP for the, these prizes for the winners is kept by the winners. Yeah. That's not something that they're having to hand over in exchange for this money. Yeah, it's really, uh, what we're doing is we're creating a very clear objective goal, right? Here's the target. To win, you've got to build a spaceship, carry three people up to 100 kilometers, land, and do it again within two weeks. Very specific rules. And mm -hmm. by narrowing those rules, giving people defined rules, it helps them really focus in. And the IP is owned by them uh, because, you know, at the end, we want them to take the IP, the prize money, and commercialize their technology. It's, we're not interested in creating a historic moment. We're interested in creating a new industry. Um, and we want to uh, help those teams attract capital, help those teams attract um, the right, uh, uh, the regulatory changes that are required to open up their industry. And so we're interested in disrupting and solving the world's grand challenges. And uh, one of the big prizes you've got going on currently is the, the track order prize. Can you tell yeah. me a little bit about yeah, that? Yeah, so uh, in a past visioneering, so once a year we get together at some location. In the early days we got together at Google a couple of times, uh, and then in LA and other places, and we bring together people from around the world, top benefactors, CEOs, heads of industry, heads of government, as you've seen here. The odd journalist. Uh, and journalist, yes. <laughs> at least one journalist. <laughs> Thank you again. Um, and uh, we debate and we discuss what the problems should be that we could solve. And so at a, at a visioneering probably about three years ago, we had a conversation about could the tricorder, could the medical tricorder from Star Trek come into existence? And we, that uh, was a finalist in uh, our prize competition that we do here. And on the heels of that, I went to, um, it was called AI Physician back then. And I went to Paul Jacobs, chairman CEO of Qualcomm Foundation, pitched him the idea. He said yes. And we launched it last year. And it's a competition for creating a medical device that any mom could use at 2 a.m. in the morning uh, to diagnose her or her uh, kid uh, uh, without the need for a physician or a nurse. It's a device that you can talk to. It's got AI on the cloud, like Watson. You could cough on it, it can do RNA and DNA analysis of the pathogens in your sputum, and you could do a blood prick and do your blood chemistry. And uh, we have 280 teams around the world hmm. pre-registered for that competition. It's amazing. There's a sister competition that Nokia has funded called the Nokia Sensing Challenge, which are creating the biometric sensors that will go into the Qualcomm uh, tricorder. And ultimately, our, our, 
the, who we focus on is the innovators. Our goal is to help innovators innovate, to give them targets, to give them global attention, to give them capital, to give them excuses to go and do stuff. Um, and it's, it's a lot of fun. I mean, the attitude here, the, the feelings are really extraordinary. Um, I'm very proud of the community we've created. Peter, I know you're very busy, so thank you very much for giving me some of your time. It's been, uh, been a great weekend, and I look forward to the future competitions from the X Prize. Thank, thank you, you again. so much.